conditional probability. First of all, we should know that what is a conditional event. When happening of any event, say A, is subject to happening or non-happening of any other event, say B, then A is called a conditional event. If happening or non-happening of any event A is subject to the condition that some other event B has happened or not happened, then A is called a conditional event. And the probability of conditional event. So first of all, the sign of A being a conditional event on B, probability of happening of A if B has happened. Or this can be read in other way. Probability of A given that B has happened. Or probability of happening of event A subject to the condition that B has happened. Now what is the formula? So it is ratio of probability of intersection to probability of B. In the same way, we can say that probability of happening of B subject to the condition that A has happened is P of A intersection B divided by P of A. In this case, A is a conditional event subject to the happening of B. In this case, B is the conditional event subject to the happening of A. Now, we want to think something else. If we know the probability of happening of B and if we know probability of conditional happening of A subject to B, then we can have probability of A intersection B. That means this is case of cross multiplication. Probability of A intersection B equals to probability of B into probability of A given B. Similarly, in this case, probability of A intersection B equals to probability of A into probability of B given A. This is nothing, just case of cross multiplication. But this is known as general law of multiplication of probability. This is general law of multiplication of probabilities. This is general law. Now what if A and B are independent. If A and B are independent, then P of A intersection B is P of A into P of B. Now let us take this formula. What will happen? P of A given B equals to P of A into P of B divided by P of B. Yes, that means P of A given B equals to P of A. If we want to check whether A and B are independent or not, we can use this formula. If P of A equals to P of A given B, the answer of both are same, then we can say that A and B are independent events. Similarly, if we take this formula, P of B given A equals to, again in case of independent events, intersection means multiplication, P of A into P of B divided by P of A, these two are cancelled. That means P of B given A equals to P of B. In other words, 
if A and B are two independent events, there is nothing like conditional event or conditional probability. Because if A and B are independent, then they cannot be conditional. If A and B are independent, then they cannot be conditional. So this is known as special law of multiplication of probabilities. This one is special law of multiplication of probabilities. The other effect of this is actually, okay, if A and B are two independent events, then complement of these two are also independent. That means P of A complement intersection B complement is P of A complement into P of B complement. This is the effect. If A and B are independent, then A complement and B complement are also independent. Now another effect of independence. If A and B are two independent events, let us take the formula of addition law. What is the formula of addition law? P of A union B equals to yes, P of A union B equals to P of A plus P of B. And in case of general law of addition, minus P of A intersection B. Now, if A and B are two independent events, what will happen? P of A union B equals to P of A plus P of B minus P of A into P of B. Because A and B are two independent events, and we know that when A and B are two independent events, Intersection means multiplication of the two probabilities. 